Ronet's directors could be facing possible jail time if criminal charges are brought against them. Herbert MP Peter Lindsay confirming the executives have been referred to the federal police. Peter Lindsay says the federal government detected irregularities in Rawnet after a Department of Communications audit. There's been some significant concern from um, Takita, the, uh, the federal department involved, and uh, those concerns have been referred for investigation. The federal police now investigating Rawnet's executives, but their exact whereabouts remain a mystery. The Australian federal police have been wanting to speak to the directors, but uh, it may be that they haven't yet been able to uh, locate them. It's not known how long the investigation will go for or what the outcomes might be. These days there are very serious uh, charges in relation to trading while insolvent. Uh, there are very serious charges if uh, people operate fraudulently anywhere in the economy. Depending on what charges are laid, the local member warning prison time could be a very real possibility. Quite often we've seen in the past that uh, people found guilty of those charges go to jail. Rawnet went into voluntary administration on Friday. Peter Lindsay says the company should have handed over operations sooner. But clearly um, the directors uh, chose to hold on. Uh, but unfortunately, that, uh, people are telling me that's destroyed a lot of the value in the company. Administrators will hold a meeting at the South Bank Convention Centre on Friday. All employees and business creditors are encouraged to attend. Claire Robinson, Win News.